Hello all and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige and this week I am drinking a mimosa. I thought it would help cure some of my wintertime blues. <laughs> when I was testing out pouring techniques that I have never tried before, it's been quite a while since I did those videos, but one of them was a ghost swipe and I loved the way it turned out. I think most of the time I see a ghost swipe, they do the colors, they swipe short ways on the canvas while allowing the canvas to hang long ways. If that makes any sense. I grabbed a tiny canvas to show you guys. <laughs> so most of the time, ghost swipes, they put the color this way and they swipe in either direction that way, going short ways. So I would like to try to flip it and we are going to swipe long ways going vertically. This way really isn't that much different technique wise. It'll just allow for the actual swipe and any cells we get to be the real focal point of this piece. I also always struggle to come up with color combination ideas. And this time when I was searching for them, I Googled my name. I Googled page and paint palette and I got quite a few results, but this is the one that I thought was most beautiful. And I decided that we are going to use these colors to create a painting. Painting with a page aesthetic, I guess, according to Google. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how this ghost swipe turns out, please continue watching. As I said, our canvas is actually going to be sitting this way rather than going, whoo, don't tip the paint over page, rather than going horizontally, which I feel like is a great opportunity for a longer canvas, I would like to try to swipe this away. Just to make the swipe part the star of the show. So we're gonna give this a shot. Maybe it'll look weird, I don't know. <laughs> and as I said before, we're going with a page color palette as found by Google which was kind of a lot of light and sort of smoky colors, if you remember the palette. I've got a, like a slate grayish blue over here. That's going to be actually the color of our canvas. And then some of the other colors we've got are dark, smoky, like turquoise and purple. And then we've got like a sand color and a nude color or um, beige color. Not nude for everybody. So. All of these colors have silicone in them. This does not because we are going to go and use that as our color for the canvas. So we're gonna do that first. Get to flooding. Now we're gonna do our stripe right there in the middle. I think I'm gonna do purple and blue first. There's some pink and there's the sand. Now last time we did a ghost swipe, I used index cards. I don't have index cards this time, but I do have this credit card size looking thing that's made of plastic. So we are gonna use that and just wipe it off after every swipe. And it's not gonna be too many since we're going vertically. We might do like a variation between long ways and skinny ways. Maybe let's try skinny ways first. There's one. Let's do long ways this time. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. This color combo is real crazy. This is not one I would have picked for myself. Let's do another skinny one right here. see any canvas anymore. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun really quick. And it may still develop as we work on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and rotate it because it's easier for me to swipe towards myself, I think. So... And a rotate. Here is our finished piece. I'm gonna make sure that all of the edges are covered, but other than that, we're gonna let this be. These are so cool. Some of these cells that have popped up, this one is crazy. And I kinda like this weird gap and this weird blob. They're cool. I really dig this. We're gonna let this dry for a couple days then I'm gonna gloss coat it maybe once, maybe twice, and then we're gonna talk about it. Our piece is dry. I have double gloss coated it. So we're gonna take a look at it. I'm not sure which way I like it better, but I'll show you the first way because this is how we painted it. Look at how cool. I still really like this chain of cells that goes up and some of the random like splotty cells I love them. And this painting even looks cool going the opposite way. I don't know which one I prefer, but I am really happy about how the colors turned out. I guess googling a page palette worked well for me. I never would have chosen these colors and it's gorgeous and smoky and I love it. My husband even said that I could do like multiples of these side by side to create several panels future ideas i don't know but here are some clips of this piece outside in the natural light Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the craft. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I post crafting videos most Fridays. And if you're interested in following me on social media, links are in the description box below. I'll see you guys all for the next one. Cheers.